Hello and welcome to a short video presentation on how to simulate a design using the HDL test bench in Libero. The first step is to set up the simulator. Libero supports different simulators from Aldec, Cadence, Mentor, and Synopsys. ModelSim ME and ModelSim Pro ME are integrated in MicroSemi's Libero design suite. ModelSim Pro ME provides enhanced simulation capabilities like faster simulation time and mixed language simulation for Verilog, System Verilog, and VHDL. In addition to these two simulators, the user can use other third-party tools too. Let's see how to configure the simulator inside Libero. Go to Project, then Tool Profiles, and then Simulation. The default profile is ModelSim. To create a new profile, click the Add Profile button. In this video, we'll be using ModelSim ME. Select this tool from the drop-down menu. The model sim directory is located in the Libero installation folder. Browse for the executable from the model sim directory and then click OK. The next step is to create the design. To create a project, click on Project and then New Project. Type in the project name, give the project location, and select the preferred language for the project either Verilog or VHDL. Click Next. We're using Polar Fire devices in this video. Select the family, die, and package. Click Next. Leave the default settings here and click Finish. To create an HDL file, go to the Design Flow tab. Click on Create HDL. Type in the file name and Libero will create an auto-generated template for you. Libero can help create an HDL design by inserting code templates. To display the HDL template tab, click on View, then Windows, and then HDL Templates. The template tab shows the commonly used constructs for Verilog and VHDL. Here, we're inserting an Always block for the design. Double-click to insert and then edit the template. After the coding for the design is done, click the Check HDL button. If there are any errors, a log message will show the error and location of the error in the code. After making the correction in the code, click on the Check button again to check the syntax. After this, go to Design Hierarchy and click Build Hierarchy. This design needs a frequency multiplier, which isn't possible to implement using RTL code. PLL is available as a hard block inside the FPGA device. To use a PLL, go to Catalog and double-click the Clock Conditioning circuitry. Click OK. This block internally contains a PLL which can multiply the clock. This design uses an input clock of 100 MHz and the output should be double that, which is 200 MHz. Click OK to generate the PLL. To instantiate the CCC, click on Show Modules and open the HDL file of the CCC. This shows the module definition and ports. Instantiate the CCC in the top design. After this, click on Build Hierarchy. Libero will resolve the hierarchy of the design. Set the top module of the design by right-clicking and selecting Set as Root. The third step is to create a test bench that drives the signals to the design. To create the test bench, right-click on the top module and then select HDL. Type in a name for the test bench and clock period. Libero will automatically create a template for you. Libero also generates clocks and resets. It also instantiates the DUT and connect the clocks and resets. Add signals required for test bench and connections. Initialize the signal values. Add the behavioral code for the test bench. Templates can be used to insert code here also. Now connect the signals to the DUT. Click the Check HDL button to check syntax. Click on Build Hierarchy under Stimulus Hierarchy to resolve the hierarchy. Right-click on the test bench and then click on Set as Active Stimulus. The next step is to configure the settings for the simulation in the current project. Go to Project, Project Settings, and Simulation Options. 
Libero creates a TCL script file known as a do file and passes to the simulator. The script file will be different for different simulators. If you are using a custom script, uncheck the automatic do file option and specify the do file. The settings here configure the do file. Specify the simulation runtime and the test bench module name. Libero sets the DUT name automatically as top underscore zero. If the DUT name is different in the test bench, change the name. Otherwise, simulation will fail. The Waveform tab specifies the signals to be shown in the Waveform window of the simulator. You can specify them as a file or use default options. Additional vSIM commands can be specified in this tab. The SDF options are required in case of post layout simulations. The Timescale tab gives the option to specify the timescale used by the simulator. The next step is to configure the pre-compiled libraries. Functional behavior of hard blocks like CCC are provided as part of the pre-compiled libraries. These libraries are specific to the Libero version and simulator version. Not using the proper pre-compiled library can cause the simulation to fail. Model Sim ME and Pro ME libraries are provided as part of Libero's installation. For other simulators, libraries need to be downloaded from the MicroSemi webpage. Libraries for the latest two versions of all simulators are available at the time of Libero release. This will be provided on the website. We provide pre compiled libraries for Smart Fusion 2, Igloo 2, RTG4, Polarfire, and other future FPGA devices. If you don't find the specific library required, please create a tech support case. After downloading the pre compiled library, Provide the library path in simulation settings and then click Close. The final step is to run the simulation. Go to the Design Flow tab. There are three simulation options, Pre-Synth, Post-Synth, and Post-Layout Simulation. This video discusses the Pre-Synth Simulation, which is the function simulation of the design. Double-click on Simulate. This opens ModelSim. While ModelSim opens, let's show the simulation-related files generated in the project folder. The do file contains the settings which is passed to ModelSim. When the simulation is running, the ModelSim transcript and waveform windows will appear. The transcript log shows that the simulation is over. Go to the waveform window to see the waveforms. Click on the Zoom Full button to view the full waveforms. For more information on setting up Libero for other simulators, you can visit the pre-compiled libraries page. For information regarding ModelSim, refer to the documents available in the Libero installation folder.